Hey YouTube, this is your girl Windfire69 coming to you with another video. I hope everyone's having a fabulous Christmas. Um, today um, I'm here with a small video and just a little bit of a chit chat. Um, I haven't been out here in a while. I've been really busy. Um, I I was able to get a second job, so I'm working two jobs, so I don't have time to put out videos like first time. Um, I have purchased some items like about two, three, about two and a half weeks ago. Haven't even opened them yet. I decided let me do it now um, since I have this uh, day off I go to work tomorrow for the rest of the week both jobs so I just wanted to just put this video out for everyone um, I hope everyone is enjoying their the holidays um, and let's get started yeah I, I, again I don't want my video to be too long uh, first thing I wanted to do was to uh, thank my subscribers new and old for subscribing to my channel Please leave your comments at the comment section and give me a thumbs up and click that notification button which or bell which will give you a notification every time I come out with a video. Um, I also had a meetup a couple of weeks back with I think the first week of December, yes, um, with uh, Will McCason and Deborah from uh, Dre Lux TV. I'm going to link their uh, channels down at the bottom. You guys can go and check them out. They have an amazing collection. The channels is just awesome. Uh, we had this meetup, and and oh, also Annie on a good day. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she, you can follow her on Instagram. Um, and it's Annie on a good day. Um, so we had a nice meetup. We went to the Louis Vuitton exhibit at the American Stock Exchange um, down in the um, the uh, financial district area. Um, we had a amazing time. The exhibit was the same way I saw it. Um, and we just took pictures. They vlogged. I didn't um, because I had already saw the exhibit and I just wanted to just spend a little bit time with them. You know, we only had one day to spend with one another. So I didn't want to vlog, and on top of that, I'm in their vlogs, so, I mean, it doesn't make sense for me to vlog, you know, um, yeah, so, then we went up to, uh, Harold Square Macy's, um, uh, my sales associate, Stephanie, is no longer there, I had posted that on my Instagram, uh, she's went on to Greener Pastures, <laughs> she works for Gucci and Trump Tower, up over on Fifth Avenue. Um, I posted a picture of all three sales associates that I would normally deal with. Um, Janet, she is an executive now at Macy's. Um, Shanice works for Coach um, in the Flatiron District. Um, and also Augusto left Louis Vuitton. He works for Prada at Bloomingdale's. Um, so if you guys want to check them out, uh, minus Janet, but check them out. They're in those, uh, they're at those retailers. Okay. Um, oh, so now well, the last person that's left that I'm going to con constantly, constantly call her name is Sunny. Sunny still works for Louis Vuitton and I want you guys to head on, head on over to Harrow Square, show her some love, say hello, tell them, tell her that Kim sent you, um, and just, you know, she's just, she's the expert client, uh, associate, or client advisor, put it that way, um, so I want you guys to just go over there and just, you know, give her, show her some love. Okay, so we had went over there and we took a picture. I don't know if I posted that picture, probably not on Instagram, but I probably posted. it. And we was there and she took care. Will Will wanted something and she was able to get it for Will. And um, she, Will was like, yo, she's amazing. And I said, yeah, isn't she, <laughs> you know? Um, 
So we spoke for a little bit and then Annie on a good day came um, and we all went to lunch and we had a good time at lunch and we got to do it again. You know, Lily MLV was supposed to uh, join us, but you know, she had her stuff going on. So she wasn't able to come, you know, with us. So, um, yeah, so we had a good time there. Yeah. I had actually left them because me and Will was supposed to go to Fifth Avenue, um, Louis Vuitton, um, but he had to leave. So I headed up to Louis Vuitton. I actually bought a luggage tag and went up to Louis Vuitton. Um, maybe was it Louis Vuitton? Yes, I went to Louis Vuitton. And went and got um, the Maison. Well, not the Maison. I got the New York Apple, the Big Apple, on my luggage tags. And I had showed you guys that in my Instagram. So, yeah. Um, and then I came back down. Okay, so let me explain with the luggage tags. I love luggage tags. You guys already know I love luggage tags from day one. I have so many different luggage tags. Uh, uh, many of them are not hot stamp. Only this year I'm running around like a damn fool getting everything hot stamp from each individual store. But I always love luggage tags. And it's a shame that you see luggage tags with the stamps, which the stamp is free, but you have people are selling them for like two fifty, you know, which is crazy. Which is real crazy. So, um, you know, I think that's like highway. Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing wrong with making a buck, making a dollar. But that's like triple the price or double the price. It's triple the price of what you would pay for a luggage tag. So let me put this out in the atmosphere. The luggage tags are $60. $60. Six zero. Okay. Six zero. That's how much it is. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys what I got and, you know, I'll wrap this up. So, I had took everything out of the boxes, everything like that, because it was just too many, too much stuff. So, I said, let me just take it out. So, it, my time can go quicker. So, I'm going to first show you the luggage tags that I got, okay? So, and I think I showed these on Instagram, so I'm showing it to you again. These are the luggage tags. These are the Chrysler building. Let me see if you guys can see this here. So, these are the Chrysler building luggage tags. I don't know. It's not coming up great. Why is this not focusing? Focus, focus. Let me see. There we go. Let me show you. There we go. So these are the Chrysler building. And I got this from Saks Fifth Avenue, Louis Vuitton. So I got these done there. And these are the smaller tags. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, they're all the same price, so, um, luggage tax are being, it's very scarce. The Maison store, they're back, or, they're on back order for, like, a couple of weeks, so I don't know if you guys are, if you're interested, I don't know if you're gonna get a luggage tag, because it's on back order. Okay, so, when I was at Saks, okay, so, I had purchased an item online, and Saks, was the place for me to pick it up at. Um, and because, yeah, was the place for me to pick it up at. So let me show you what I got. Again, it, this came offline, and I just decided to pick it up at Saks. So this is the Kabuki Clemens Notebook in the reversible, um, the reversible uh, monogram. And inside it is red and on the back it has the warrior there 
it comes like this and then it comes with the big face around but I already have a monogram you know the regular monogram so I decided to get the reversible one here so this is this here and this is a notebook okay and I'm not truly a fan of the reversible monogram but because I like to collect these now I decided let me get this particular item so I don't have to get a bag, I don't have to get a wallet, nothing like that. I got a notebook like this, so that's that one there. And that's the Kabuki Clemens notebook, okay? So that's that there, and I got that from Saks. Now, while I was at Saks, I saw this book here. I don't know if I'm going to go back to the exhibit. I want to. Hopefully, I can get there before, I think, the 5th or the 7th, where when the... Um, exhibit is going to be over because I want to get one more item so I got the book the book is in plastic and this is a really nice book this book is like $59 if I'm not mistaken and I got this from Saks and this is the whole exhibit and I just love this so this is this here okay um, I wanted an item uh, I've been looking for this item. Well, this item was actually on my wish list, and I decided let me pull the trigger and get it now. So I got this from Nordstrom's in Seattle, Washington. I pretty much bought a few things from them. Um, the Michigan Avenue store, I don't know what's going on with them, but the one in Seattle, Washington was, I mean, they're just so gracious. So I was kind of happy. Um, they didn't have it, but they ordered it for me. So I was okay with that. It came in this box here. And again, this is an item that was that's on my wish list. There's two of them, but I got this one first. And it came here. And I got the Louis Vuitton uh, fragrance case in the Vaquetta. I decided, and this is kind of scarce. That's what I don't understand. This is like really scarce. I don't know. So I didn't get it hot stamp. I just got it just plain. Um, I just wanted to just keep it just simple, you know. It already has a hot stamp of LV right there. So I didn't want to, like, you know, put nothing on the top. Um, it has a latch here. And the information is in there. And it says Louis Vuitton made in Italy. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Um, and I got this. This reminds me of a Hemingway piece. A Hemingway piece. Like something that, um, Ernest Hemingway would put on his, um, desk or on his dresser with his cologne or something like that. So I always like something like this. I'm going to try to get the monogram one. Um, yeah, so that's that there. Um, let's see what else I got. And these are just stuff that I wanted on my wish list. Not nothing too spectacular. Okay, so I got product candy. Um, each one of them is one ounce, almost one ounce is. So I got this, I got the Kiss, and then I got the Eau de Parfum. Didn't want a big bottle, just something just similar. Just two items here. Okay. I got Beautiful from Estee Lauder. This is a five ounce one. And I got this here. Bulgari, I got this Jasmine Noir. I had smelled this. And I got this here. I love this smell. It smells good. And it has like that pump spray. So I got that. Marc Jacobs came out with those fragrances again. Which I love. I already have the. I have some of them already. So this is the cucumber. This is cucumber. And this is pear. This is cotton, and this is rain. 
And I also got the Clinique Aromatics Elixir. This is my all-time favorite. This is by Clinique. They have this one. They have the Aromatics White and they have the Aromatics Black. So I got the regular one. I Look, I just got this like two weeks ago and look at it already. I just love this perfume, honestly. I have two of them, but I just started using this one. I have the other one, which is more of a limited edition one. But I have this one here and I've been using it. And I think that's it. Oh, and I bought uh, Millie Feek, the refill chargers for the um, travel, perfume travel, the travel perfume, you know, canister. I bought that for right now. I have other items. Oh, and I bought a pair of boots. Um, the short mini Bailey button ones, I think I bought that. Um, that was it for right now. Just very small items, not, not, nothing expensive, extravagant, you know. So I think that's it for right now. I don't want my time to go any further as far as this video is concerned. So I want everyone to enjoy the rest of the holiday. If I don't catch up with you guys again, I'm wishing you guys a happy and safe new year, okay? You guys stay blessed, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Take care now.